Hello makers and creators and crafty bug hunters and welcome to this very special video called Crafty Camouflage with the National Museum of Ireland Natural History and Recreate Ireland. My name is Jo and I will be your master of disguise guide for the next few minutes. But first of all, I would like to introduce to you the National Museum of Ireland's Natural History, which is also very fondly known as the Dead Sea. This science museum opened up its doors over 164 years ago and has over 10,000 animals and fossils for you to see up close. You can discover wildlife from here in Ireland and also around the world, including mammals, fish, reptiles, insects, birds and spiders and much, much more. Why don't you visit museum.ie so you can take a 3D virtual visit of the museum from the comfort of your own home. During this video, I will be chatting to you about the word camouflage and what that means. After that, I'm going to provide a list of ingredients and materials that you can collect so that we can make together our very own unique wings of disguise. Okay, let's talk about camouflage. Did you see me camouflage in there? Did you know that was me? So, what does the word camouflage mean? To camouflage means to hide or use a disguise. This makes it hard for others to see us. Animal colours and shapes can hide them. This lets them blend into the places where they live. Did you know there are a couple of different types of camouflage? One of them is called concealing coloration when an animal is the same colour as its backdrop. <laughs> Then there's disruptive coloration, when an animal has spots or stripes to make it hard to figure out its outline. Then there is disguise camouflage, which is using the environment around them to disguise themselves a little bit like a stick insect would, or perhaps even a leafy sea dragon. This isn't a stick insect. One particular insect that is fascinating is the peppered moth. Not only does the caterpillar of the moth make itself look like a stick so it doesn't get eaten, but the adult moth has also adapted its peppery disguise over many years to camouflage itself like the trunk of a tree. The peppered moth has been closely observed by humans for many years. Over time, the lichen that lived on the tree may have died out, probably because of pollution, which means that the tra tree has changed colour. This has led to the moth adapting itself to suit its new backdrop. Fascinating. Using the moth as an inspirational starting point, let's make our own very unique wings of disguise. So what materials will you need? A big piece of paper or card for the base of your wings or use an old pillowcase. A glue stick or PVA craft glue some scissors, a marker pen to draw the outline of your wings, wool, string or ribbon so you can tie the wings on, and maybe some items collected from nature but please ask permission first, leave some behind for the animals and only take what you need. Or if you don't have any leaves or things from nature you could use scrap paper packaging and tissue to create your own leaves and sticks. And perhaps some paint if you have it but this is non-essential. Let's get started. So making your wings of disguise. Cutting your shape. Grab your paper or cardboard and fold it in half and use the fold as your center line. Grab a marker pen and draw out your desired design wing shape. Open it up and get ready to do your design making. So what I like to do before I commit to anything and sticking down is I like to lay things out and have a play with the materials. The materials that you can see here are leaves, seed pods and sticks, which I actually gathered from a local park. I also used materials that come from packaging, mostly papers, different types of paper, 
white brown and also the lattice one that you can see there which I really like the texture of. I cut out symmetrical shapes to keep my wings symmetrical which basically means they're both same on both sides. So once you have your design ready, now you can glue and stick your parts down. You may find that while you're gluing and sticking down that your design might, may change and that is perfect. See that I've used uh, pens and maybe paints and things to, to give a bit of weight to the leaves. Because the leaves are dry, they're a little bit curly on the edges, which means they lift up from the card where I'm sticking them down. Or your leaves will need a little bit of help here by maybe putting a weight on. If you are using a weight, just remember to maybe use something that's not paper-based that will be able to be easily unstuck from your design, unless it's intentional and you want that a part of your design. So now, adding your straps. So I measured the places where to go on myself using a pencil. And there are two very faint little X's there that you can see. And this is where I know I want to put my holes. So I used an awl, which is a sharp uh, instrument uh, to make the holes with. You may have a hole punch or perhaps even a pencil, a sharp pencil with an eraser that you could use to make the holes. I then used wool to thread through the holes and make a few knots to make sure that they didn't, the, the knot didn't come back out through the hole that I created. I then pulled the wool fairly tight to make sure that it wasn't, the wings weren't going to flap around all over the place. Uh, also because there is a little bit of give, a little bit of stretch in the wool, so I was taking that into account too. So I made them just like you would a rucksack backpack. And now you're ready to fly. So thank you so much for joining the National Museum of Ireland Natural History, Recreate Ireland and me, Jo, for this very crafty camouflage video. We hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.